Welcome back everyone. This is a quick update on 83-year-old Pete Ardema and master machinist Kevin Brown and their creation of an extraordinary homemade 5-liter V12 entirely built from raw materials. This new V12 is not just a machine, it's a dream brought to life by blending decades of knowledge with the desire to break boundaries. This all-new ambitious project aims to push the limits of engineering and performance to an all-new level for Pete and Kevin. This home-built V12 engine is designed to rev up to an astonishing 11,000 RPM. Pete and Kevin are both self-taught engineers and hoping to make history and redefine what's possible in the world of racing and engineering. We're going to let the cameras roll and let Pete give us an update. We really hope you enjoy this segment. Thank you. i got to shorten this cam. This cam's too long. When you say shorten it, you like just cut in it some of it off? Well, we made all the cams the same length, and every cam is a different length. This head is further forward, so this cam is the shortest cam of all. And then this cam is just a little bit longer because this head sits back, you know, they're, they're staggered. staggered. Yeah, okay. And same with exhaust. This exhaust is third longest, and then that's the longest. So, what are the major... Or, no, this is, a, this is the longest. Okay. No. Yeah, the exhaust, in, the exhaust passenger is the longest. Or, this is passenger. So, you have most everything you need now, right? You've got the crank yeah. in it. you got the rods, pistons, cams. Yeah. Cylinder heads now are line board. Yeah. So, this and thing... Cam and Kevin drilling holes in the cams for oil. He's got one fixtured up. Oh, that's how it is. Oh, so he's drilling. So it's got the it's hollow through the center right now, right? Yeah. So we now he's just. Oil, we pump oil in the middle of the cam. This oil supply here comes out here and goes into the inside of the cam, and then it goes out of the bearings. Yeah. Boy, it's still it just looks so amazing, like with all the. Every single port and the cam lobes and all the whole, I mean. Yeah, there's a lot of gingerbread here. <laughs> it looks complex. <laughs> you know, it's it's sad when you cover it all up with the valve covers and the intake, you can't see all all this architecture or whatever you want there's to call it. a lot it. of stuff here. And then Kevin made these spacers to get the angle because, you know, the, the original engine was 90 degrees. So he, he made these sh shims right here, this thing. Okay. He left it at 90 degrees, though. This motor is 60 degrees, but the original engine was at 90 degrees. Okay. So it's now kind of, now you're just going to start assembling it, right? Yeah. Well, can't, Kevin's got to get the, uh, the uh, cam drilled. The belt's too long. So do you just find another belt that's a little shorter? It, it, like if this one's a, what is it, a T31, yeah. a T13, T313. So could you do like a 10, Well, a T310? I've got this, I've got it. I've got these idlers both all the way in to get the belt tight. And with the head gaskets in there, it'll, it might work with this head, with this belt. But the idea was that we can we can kick this one back. And do the same principle of advancing and retarding? And then, then kick this one. Right now, if we kick that one that way and kick this one this way, oh. it retards the cam. So. Okay. And vice versa. Yeah. Don't let that cam go. Cams are okay? You don't want that cam to go launching across the shop. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be another setback. <laughs> if that thing hit the ground, it would probably break. Kevin ordered another belt for this. Yeah. 
moment ago. It's actually one tooth longer. It might work. Well, these are the cams that broke, right? When they were heat treating them? Well, that no you had to redo them? They were, they were heat treated uh, completely through. This is mild steel cam. Yeah. 4340 or something like that. So they induction are it. They run it through a heater. So it's just card on the outside. <coughs> like 60,000. Yeah. Where the other ones are hard throughout. And when they tried to straighten it, they broke. So what do you think, time-wise, what's going to be your... This for May. So another couple months to get it all put together? And do you think we could just run it on the same hall tech? Yeah. Just run it... To. Just put build the... Or drum Will you be able to transfer that those throttle bodies from that engine to this one? Or do you have to do all new throttle well, bodies? Well, I like to put new throttle bodies on it. Okay. So that the engine stands alone, it's all together. I hate to rob parts off one. Or two. Yeah. But if we do build the architecture in the same way, yeah. put the injectors in the same place, crank it, sensor it in the same place, the we can just plug it in, right? Three twenty-seven, three fifty. 350. Yeah. They're basically the same engine. That's so cool. If you watch YouTube, you can see the worst engines ever made. Yeah. And they're all in there. Toyota, Nissan, Chevy, Ford, Cadillac. Yeah. Cadillac hasn't built a good engine in the last... 20 years, I don't think. Yeah. And so we built an engine here in our backyard with a bunch of scrap. Yeah. No engineering, no drawing, nothing. We just built it. A napkin and sketch. Yeah, we had some problems. <laughs> we had pistons hit the deck and we had it lean condition. Some of it might have been our fault. I don't know. But uh, I feel pretty good. You know, we got a lot of record with it. Mm -hmm. Every time it went out, it, it did pretty well. Yeah. We had some problems, but all in all, um, for an engine that's had, what, a dozen runs on it at Bonneville? Yeah. And El Mirage? Yep. And probably six records, seven records with it. And countless dyno pulls. Yeah. Um, and almost a thousand horsepower. So I, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we would have built this one at a seven liter instead of five. Well, instead of going smaller, we should have gone bigger. But Yeah, but you got to remember when even you know when ford built the coyote engine how many times did they have to go and redesign and you know test right. that before they got it right or anything really like you're saying a well, hemi we're, or we're we are restricted by displacement right yeah every liter is a different class um this being a five liter it's going to be a d and i was never happy with the corvette engine so that's why i to build a d so in your opinion Based on all the engines you've worked out within your entire life, what do you think is one of the better better power plants, better engines? What do you, if well, you had the to, best one I've ever messed with. Yeah, but I mean production engines from you know Ford, Chevy, Mopar. Well, Chevrolet is a, a pretty good engine. Okay, but it's a two valve push rod. Yeah, it's as good as you're going to get. You know, you can make one and a half per inch out of that thing, uh, fairly mm -hmm. easy. Yeah, which is not bad. NASCAR is making two per inch, two and a half. Now. Yeah, so. But they, that engine is nowhere near what the old 253 or 283 was. Yeah. So I just drove here my daughter's Honda. It's a 2007 Civic with a 1.8 liter VTEC, 309,000 miles on it. And that thing kicks butt still when that little VTEC kicks in. Honda's got to be one of the best. Yeah. Honda, They're pretty impressive. Honda, yeah, they are. And I'm just impressed driving that, again, a 1.8 liter when I just came up the hill, Balboa, yeah. you know, steep hill. You feel that VTEC kick in. I yeah, think it just little, pulls. A little 100 inches, right? Yeah. And pulls that little body and you're around just as good as a 350 cubic inch and goes 300 miles, 1,000 miles. <laughs> yeah. And doesn't it's use oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I remember you started building a couple of years ago, you were building that two liter engine. Yeah. It's kind of like a, your version of a K series Honda. What's, are you ever going to do anything with that? I, my problem is time. Right? If yeah. you need time, money, talent, and desire, or run out of time. <laughs> I'd like to build a new car, a streamliner, with yeah. an engine in the front, transverse in front. Yeah. But it's only going to go maybe 200, so it's... Is there any way you could take 
that two liter and put that in this existing no, lake stir? No. There's no way based on the way you designed it? I wanted to mount that engine transverse. Okay. With a transmission in front of the engine sideways. So the like weight. Front wheel drive car. Yeah. But lay the engine on the side so it's real low. So the whole car is only this high. Yeah. Get the driver to lay on his back and get the wind resistance. The wind resistance is the biggest thing, right? That's right. what we're fighting the most. So, but is that, I don't remember, is the, can you attach a standard bell housing to that or did you design no, no, it? No, we, we designed it uniquely. We're going to run a, a pair of set of gears from the crank to the transmission. Okay. And then a chain and a bell. To run. It's going to be a. So that's nothing you can <laughs> easily put in a rear wheel drive then? Well, you could put it in the back. Yeah. Oh, make it a pusher. Yeah. Okay. We can find a old Porsche body. It needs to be in the front of the car because the heavy end wants to go first. Right? Yeah. Works better. And you need weight on the wheels. And if you put the weight in the back on top of the wheels, then the car is squirrely. Ideally, front wheel drive with the engine on top of the wheels would be the best. Yeah. Well, I just remember last year with the three liter sheet metal engine. That thing really put down some power too. That thing hauls ass. Uh, turbo can make it. Yeah. I'm not a turbo guy, so. Yeah, but it it did its job. It yeah, allowed you to win the champ. Yeah, you won the championship yeah. on that car. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, well, thanks, Pete. Yeah. That's it for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate all subscribers. This allows us to continue making content, and we will. Hope to get videos uploaded more frequently. We hope you enjoyed this one again. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.